And I was just having a really interesting conversation with um, Dr. K, we're calling him, but about like what is overbearing in the dating place for men to do, but what is actually good you know, good masculine authority, you know, assertiveness to Mm -hmm. ask a girl out. Now your wife asked you out first, which is, you know, its own beautiful story. But what do you, what's your advice to guys out there right now? Because most people, most women I know who are single, like all my single girlfriends complain about men who are just not serious enough. They want to hang out. They're afraid. They all like say they have emotion. Like there's one friend of mine, the guy's like, you know, saying he has emotional issues. He doesn't know how and when he's going to commit. I mean, there's just this whole minefield out there. Um, Or just men that don't want to get married, but they want to like, date it endlessly, you know, Mm -hmm. um, what's your, I guess, what's your advice to men who are, well, you know, not married and maybe want to get married. And if you want to get married, you got to act like you're worth marrying, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be the man. And, um, you know, there is obviously there's something to be said for, you know, the assertiveness, knowing what you want and and everything. How do you know what you want? But yeah, that's How the thing is that? like when you talk about when you put it in, in terms of advice, it's like if if a guy is like uh, noncommittal mm-hmm. and um, and isn't ready for that kind of a relationship, then you can't really give him advice to be like, oh, well, you should behave differently. You know, like, well, why? That's against his interest. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want that, mm-hmm. you know? Ultimately, those guys are the ones that you want to look past, right? You mm-hmm. want to sift through them to try to find the ones so who more, are in, in different So it's more place. the guy that wants to be successful in love and mm-hmm. be married one day. Or maybe they don't even think of it as marriage, but they just want to be – they don't want to be alone, you know? They want right. to have a dream girl. What, what, what's the advice to them? You should have, you should have values. You should Mm -hmm. be able to know what you believe and why Mm -hmm. you believe it and be able to defend it. You know, you should take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there's, I I think one of the issues that we have right now. Read Jordan Peterson. Oh my gosh. Yeah. (laughs) Read the Bible. (laughs) Read the Bible, Jordan Peterson, C.S. Lewis. Uh, G.K. Chesterton's really good. I love Chesterton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost quoted him out there when we were talking Mm -hmm. earlier. Um, should have. Humor can get in under the door while seriousness is still fumbling at the handle. That's one of my favorite. Wow. That's a good one. G.K. Chesterton quotes. That's a really good one. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that one of the challenges that we have right now, and I'm not in the dating scene, Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not a woman looking for a guy, but we do have this problem with men right now where men are like, men are soft and men are, you know, they are, they're, they're living at home into their Mm -hmm. thirties and they're not working out and they're just like, they're just kind of listless and they're not, they're not principled. Um, and they're just, you know testosterone levels are down and sperm counts are down and grip strength is why weaker than it's ever that, been. And it's like, so masculinity, is? masculinity is yeah. just withering away into nothing. Mm. And so it's like it, for, for men, men who can really tap into their masculinity in a healthy way, mm. you know, cause so many of them, when you talk about like, if you, if you think of like what actual toxic masculinity is, it's, a, it's, it's really like a man who's lost sight of what it actually means to be a man yeah. and it's, is feeling it's like absence of real masculinity. It's the absence of mm-hmm. real masculinity. It's the suppression of real, it's the, the feminization of men. And then this, and then this angst and outrage at the world for making them feel like an outcast. Um, or it's a caricature of men. Cause there is yeah. a toxic masculinity that is like, if you call it, I don't like calling it that. Cause like you said, masculinity is actually a good thing, but it, there are jerks. Like oh, they yeah. are like, alpha male in the stereotypical negative sense, you yep. know, there can be a positive sense, but, yeah. um, they have, you know, they don't, they disregard people, they disrespect, you know, they're not, you know, they're, they have, you know, too many sexual partners. They don't really care about commitment and love or being fathers. I mean, the problem is we've feminized those traits, which are actually masculine traits, like yep. to be a committed husband is somehow a feminine thing. Right. No, it's right. a masculine thing to be a tender father is somehow feminine. No, that's masculine. Yeah. Being protective, mm-hmm. um, you know, recognizing that one of the most valuable things in the universe is a kept promise. I mean, like mm-hmm. men don't have that mentality. If they did, they'd be a lot more attractive to women, I think. So, and when women one. are really craving masculinity in men, we because need it's, it. yeah, it's missing mm-hmm. right now. So, um, I don't know. I, I don't know how you like condense it down into advice. Like what advice mm-hmm. do I give to, to like young men who are like struggling in that environment? Um, I don't know. I think a lot of it just comes down to, you know, really, uh, uh, un- understanding what it is that women need and what mm-hmm. they want and not thinking about, you know, cause so many, so much, there's so much, um, idealization, you know, you look out there and you say, this is what I want. This is what I want in a perfect wife, mm-hmm. right? This is what I want my wife to be like. Well, are you, 
are you spending any time at all thinking about like, how can I be the best mm-hmm. husband to somebody? Like, how can I position myself for that role and focus on yourself for the mm-hmm. for that purpose? Then you might actually have a shot at finding a woman mm-hmm. like that. But unless and until you do that, just being the loser that you are, <laughs> well, while, while chasing that dream, it's never going to happen. It's never mm-hmm. going to happen.